Mass readings for the second Sunday of Lent, March 5, 2023. First reading. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abram went as the Lord directed him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let your response be. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the Word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right, or the kindness of the Lord the earth is full. Response, Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Response, Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us. We have put our hope in you. Response, Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Second reading is taken from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life, not according to our works, but according to his own design, and the grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus before time begun. But now made manifest through the appearance of our Savior Christ Jesus, who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. First before the gospel, it's taken from Matthew chapter 17, verse 5. From the shining cloud, the Father's voice is heard. This is my beloved Son. Hear Him. Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 17, verses 1 to 9. Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, 
Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and do not be afraid. And when the disciple raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 